Hello everyone and welcome into the new chapter of this channel. We're gonna call it miniatures. So what is it gonna be? I'm gonna present you like most interesting short games played all over the world, all kinds of players uh, ranged from top players to complete passers, doesn't matter, we just need to see some tricks, beauty, attractiveness in these games and also mind-blowing ideas uh, all together. So uh, hopefully you're gonna enjoy this one. Uh, I already uh, got like a couple of emails uh, with the games of a couple of you guys. Feel free to send me your games, especially if you find them uh, very interesting, objectively good, and uh, especially if uh, there is some beauty in the end of these games, including some very nice tactical uh, tricks. Uh, for today, I just opted uh, for a game uh, from White's point of view. E4, E5, uh, White played the most interesting knight f3 move, and Black went for d6. Uh, this is Philidor defense, and speaking of the Philidor defense, you already know uh, from the channel that absolutely the most active and the best approach for white goes for white with d4. Simply, you just break in the center, you just attack the pawn on e5, uh, you open, open you just open up both of your bishops on c1 and c4, uh, threatening to take on e5, and they just have to uh, decide whether they want to uh, take on uh, d4, uh, playing open Philidor, playing knight d7, playing Hanan variation, bishop g4 uh, from famous Morphe theater game, or uh, even uh, Philidor counter gambit with f5. In this game, black went for knight d7, trying to defend this one. If you remember, not a while ago, I published out a game of mine played in the simul I was white where I tricked my opponent and here you just go with the bishop c4. I got a couple of questions when I said uh, that the only move for black is c6. Of course it's not like the only move but for example if you play anything else you're, you, you, you might have lots of problems. For example you play bishop e7, you take on e5, pawn takes on e5, boom and with the bishop c4 and queen d5 you just win on f7 they take by knight and from famous uh, fisher simul game you just go queen h5 winning either pawn on a5 or f7 or if they play knight f6 you first take on e5 and after this you play knight g5 so they can defend the pawn on f7 or if d takes knight takes knight takes you first give check and then you just grab the queen if you take they give you check they now attack the queen you just bring the queen back they take and you take by knight which defends the pawn on e4 uh, the point of this analysis is not to learn anything uh, like I'm not presenting like an opening theory here, but just if you ever play these variations and if you play these similar type of lines, just to be familiar with these kinds of tricks, so you can find them. So I, I won't uh, make them so, so slow for you. Uh, that's why I told you, you just have to go with a move like c6. And I really mean that. I mean, c6, uh, if, bish in, if bishop e7 doesn't work, if knight f6 doesn't work, if h6 doesn't work because of the same tricks, knight e5, and after d takes e5, bishop f7, uh, if d takes e5, d takes e5, you have famous bishop f7, knight e5, king f6, and my league game a few uh, years ago, I played queen d4, but the crucial move I found in one Anand's book where he said knight c3 and when they take check this check check this one you just go with the bishop f4 give check and now you just find the mate there are so many games like this that's why in this game black went for c6 what I find very interesting about the following thing is that I already won a couple of games in the same fashion but in this game uh, I'm not going to present you specifically one game because I found more than seven games in the database ended in the same uh, in the same line. So here, what opted for a little bit surprising. You know that I told you that objectively here, best is short castle, and probably that's what you should play. But in this game, White went for knight g5. 
quite a tricky move. Uh, he cannot defend pawn on f7, uh, but with knight h6. And when they play knight h6, all of a sudden, white opts for a very surprising, and I find it highly, you know, like not recognizable here by, by black players, a4. And whenever I play this in my Bloods games, I even played it in one tournament game, my opponent, uh, my opponents told me after the game that they thought that I played a4 to stop b5 or to have like a shelter for the bishop on a2, which really happens in some of these Philidor games. I'm just going to tell you that the only move, according to theory here, is queen f6. And that's what I have to do and to attack the pawn on d4. But the real thing comes now. Most of these guys play bishop, actually played in the past. And even in these uh, games that I want to show you, they played bishop e7. And here, white made one of the most beautiful miniatures I know that is going to end up in the next five moves. So you just take bishop f7 check, believe it or not. You know, black captured by knight and knight e6 threatening queen on d8. Queen cannot go anywhere but on b6 or a5. In the game was queen b6. But what would happen if the queen a5 happened? Nothing. Bishop d2 with tempo. You can't go queen a6 because of knight c7 4. Can you win the queen? In the case of queen b6, you just go a5. You can't go on a6 or b5 because of knight c7. And if queen here, bishop c3 and the queen is trapped. In this game, uh, after knight e6, black went for queen b6, but after queen b6, a5. Even I gave you a game of mine against uh, one FM. I even played a blitz game against GM like this, but I won't mention his name because he's a good friend of mine. C3, queen c4, and all these guys, even in this Russian game. I also found a game by uh, my friend... Um, who play this with the white pieces. So after queen c4, looks like they're about to win this knight. They're about to save the game and they're just up a piece. Well, uh, that just at first glance, you just go with knight c7. That's what happened in all these games. And after king d8, what a spectacular way to finish the game, playing b3 and trapping up this queen in a beautiful fashion. I like this uh, this miniature a lot. I believe you can benefit from learning these lines. I'll try to find very um, uh, interesting and exciting games uh, with uh, maximum 25 moves, but this one should be fine because it was only in 12. Hope you enjoyed in this miniature and hopefully you're going to be able to trick somebody like this. Uh, also, uh, support this new idea because this is absolutely new chapter on this channel. Every single Friday, we're going to have like one miniature and hopefully you're going to also uh, improve this channel by sending yours. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Thanks so much and see you.